Today at the shop, I encounter a very annoying situation. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but you know, sometimes when you're printing an order and you have to change colors in the screen, you have to realize that you have to start from the lightest one and work your way to the darkest one. Well, we had a messed up situation here where you know, the customer came, got all the shirts printed, came back, and we needed one. The last time we printed was red. The one that he brought, he wants white ink. So today I'm just gonna teach you some quick tips on how to clean your screen if you ever have a red ink in it or basically like a darker ink and you wanna go to a lighter. So it's kinda like going backwards. Now you may think that we're gonna use screen opener for this and you can, but I'm gonna teach you an easier way and it's gonna be a lot cleaner so you don't have to get high off of the 480 or whatever screen opener you use and then uh, end, up, end up asking for money under a bridge. Gang banging. Look at this one. Gangster walk. That's what happens if you go to the gym too much. <laughs> Is that house walking or crib walking? All right. So here we go. Uh, so what, what I did is I took off all the tape from the screen, both sides of the screen. And I'm going to use my ink remover, which is the one that I get from American Print Supply. Okay. So there you go. We're just going to all shut up. We're going to go ahead and damp the screen. And we're going to scrub both sides really well. If you don't have a pressure washer, you're just gonna have to scrub a little bit more, that's all. But it should work, it should work. All right, so this is just one out of like three steps. Okay. So that alone already looks pretty good. You know, we still have some red, obviously. But what we're going to do now is we're going to use what I have here, which is a simple green degreaser that you can find at Home Depot or Ace Hardware. I think Walmart carries it as well. For this one, I go half, uh, halfway of the bottle with the simple green and the other half I use I just use water, so half and half. I said it's 50 50. Okay, we're gonna scrub both sides again. Okay. Okay, so what that simple green is gonna do is gonna remove all the oils from the ink. And then the last one we're gonna use, it's the uh, Liquid Renew It, which is a degreaser and a dehaser. You don't need a whole lot of that one because we already degreased it. This one's a little potent. So we're gonna scrub really well. And this one, you can let it sit for a minute. And as you can see, we're almost done with the red there's almost no red in the screen anymore okay and just like that you guys we are ready to put white ink on the screen that little stain that you see is just basically the emotion that got stained so you can't really remove that but it's not gonna come off and turn your white into like a pinkish shade. If you are concerned, you know, you can just do the uh, degreaser one last time. And you should be fine. But that's what I would do. I have another one that I did earlier, right there. And you can see kind of like a little shade of red, but like I said, it's just the emulsion being stained. I've done it before. 
And honestly, that is the best way to go about it because it doesn't mix in with your white ink. Especially if you're just gonna do like one or two shirts, it's, it's gonna work out perfectly. But if you're doing a bigger run, uh, then you might wanna burn another screen. Or if you're confident enough that this is gonna work, which it should, then you should be fine. So there you go. Instead of using the uh, screen opener, the 480, you can throw it in your reclaiming booth and use your chemicals to clean out the red to turn it white. Why do you want to hang on? You want to throw a little set? You want to throw a little set? 